Hello, everyone. It's Lindsay Landry, and today I'm here with a special guest, Anna Dale, and we're going to be talking all about the magic of body alchemy. So I'm really excited to have this conversation, and um, it feels kind of magical to be having this on the Pisces full moon as well. Um, I've... Um, I recently did some work with Anna and I am like an immense, my moon's in Pisces. So I'm like such a feeler and there really is something about being able to bring and hone all that energy into our body and to be able to, um, have the spiritual experience, right? Which Pisces is all about expanding out, connecting, but being able to have that spiritual experience, like fully in our body and being able to open to the joy and the ecstasy and also the uncomfortable places and all of it. And so this is Anna's magic and um, yeah, I'm excited to talk to her about it. So welcome. (laughs) Hi. Hi. So yeah, it's really fun to play with you, (laughs) Lindsay. (laughs) I know. I always feel like when we're having a conversation, it is like a little playground. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So um, before we dive into this combo, do you want to just tell us a little brief about yourself, your work, who you are? Yeah. Well, I've been... um, I've been DJing in the Portland ecstatic dance community for over 10 years now. And, and, you know, there's a certain format we tend to follow. Um, and, you know, at least in Portland and the dances I'm involved in where we, we have a, people are arriving, there's a warm up period so people can come and stretch and, um, you know, it's like, it's like saying hello to the, to a deeper consciousness, um, a deeper embodied consciousness through the warm up, And then, then there's an opening circle. And so who, whoever the DJ is, or sometimes we partner with another person, there's, there's an intention, just, just an invitation really of like on Wednesday, the, the title of the dance was passionate soul. Mm. And, and so we, I uh, I almost want to just read that, um, but I, I, there's so many things that I could say, but the, there's a way, when we start to move our bodies, passion is not just a concept anymore. Like we say, oh yeah, I'm passionate about it. And maybe we feel it from our, from our heart and our, our mental intellect. But when we start to move the body, it's like we engage the hips, and you know the womb for if you have one and and the hara um just these lower energy centers and i mean it's honestly sometimes it's it can actually sometimes it's actually a little bit scary to feel like what our real potential is like our power Uh and it's actually scary (laughs) yeah but but then in the dance, we create a sort of permissionary field with each other to actually to go there. Cause it is, even if though it's, you know, we've embodied our, our power or our passion at points along our timeline. And often we're, we bump up against, you know, the, the grown ups who took care of us. Maybe mm-hmm. they're like, no, you can't do that. Right. And then we, we freeze inside a little and it stays frozen until we're ready at another point in our life to to unlock that um and and that's really the dance is just amazing for kind of there's an induction phase so it's the music will start slowly you know this is so the music will start slowly and again it's just like okay you know it can be you can bring all your hesitation all of your all your fear, all your shyness, all the like uh, frustration, all that gets to come Mm -hmm. and you just start to feel and move with it. 
and then the, the beauty of the, the musical background is like it shifts energetic states, you know, I mean, and we're in partnership. It's not like the music can ever come and hijack your process, right? It's like you are at choice at every point along the way, but, but at least the way I'm putting the music together, it's meant to be a support and, a, you know, possibly an inspiration um, <clears throat> just to not stay stuck essentially. Uh, yeah. And yeah. so <laughs> I want to talk a little bit about that. And also, um, just arriving to this place because it's like what I'm really, um, feeling is how our listeners, like they might be at different places. So some people are like ready to enter this place of, you know, openness and like going into this um yeah multi-dimensional place and then some <laughs> maybe more at a place of like in like feeling some lockups or shutdowns which we had that conversation in the make a splash so anybody I'll link that in the comments if anybody wants to go deeper into the lockdowns and shutdowns you can listen to that um chat we did but when we're feeling like these physical sensations in our body um yeah it feels like maybe just bridging how um and what I just want to say too is like Anna's also a massage therapist she studied the body she studied the energetic of this she studied the dance you know she knows the music and so she um is very wise when it comes to this. So if you want to just maybe um, talk a little bit about, so if someone's at this place of feeling the physical sensations, or maybe even they're noticing the mind, right? Because you talked about how like the dance can bring us beyond the mind, but like, what are some of the mind things that we might be noticing right now that we actually need to go beyond? Or the physical things that like, the opportunity to open does that make sense mm -hmm. i think so i'll well i'll say what's coming to me and then you can you know if, if you have a follow-up question you can okay. i can try to you know clarify further um <clears throat> and one thing to say is like the music um <clears throat> pardon me i the music starts slow and it is just, it's, it's meditative. So, um, and I often, I often even say, you know, just like whatever's going on, just welcome it. You know, it's not about, it's not about making wrong anything that you're experiencing, but it's, oh, I'm experiencing that. But sometimes, you know, we could say, oh, I'm, oh, I'm having all these thoughts, I'm scared. And then we can go, ah, oh, screw it. And then we go off in our reaction and we're in the trance of our reaction. Mm -hmm. So with the dance, it's like, oh yeah, there's, there's that fear, fear or worry thought or just judgment thought, um, whether it's toward yourself or others. Okay, there it is. What if I, what if I, what if I have that thought and I make a little spiral mm -hmm. through my spine <laughs> and the, the movement can be super tiny, right? Like, so really it's, you know, we call it ecstatic dance for me though. It's truly just embodiment, um, which sometimes actually, I mean, I go to these dances sometimes and I don't even actually stand up off the floor for a good 20 minutes. Cause I'm just like, Whoa, I've, there's, I have a history of back injuries. And um, <clears throat> so sometimes I'm just like, I'm just, the movement, you might not even think I was dancing, you know, but it, but it, um, but the dance can be really, the, the dance is, can be very subtle, but it's about listening and trusting mm -hmm. yourself, you know? Um, and, and, you know, at some of these dances, where I DJ, we have 100 or up to 200 people. And of course, 
people are at different places. Mm -hmm. There's there's no way that 200 people can be in exactly the same like mental state or physical state. Um, and and that yeah, you know, there's there's always a prayer in my heart that everybody find the medicine that they need, you know, and um, Hmm. what's coming forward I feel like there's more to say about that but I can't find the words <laughs> what I'm feeling is this piece around um listening and trusting yourself so yeah. what's coming forward is how um so if someone doesn't know how to listen and trust themselves this practice yeah can also be a really good practice to learn how to listen and trust yourself. Mm -hmm. So it's like, no matter where you are on the journey, like, you know, if you feel like disconnected from your body, disconnected from your intuition, or maybe you um, already have an intuitive practice or you have um, a spiritual practice where you feel pretty connected, like, it's so personal that it can bring you even deeper into whatever the thing is you're needing. Yeah. Yeah, totally. And, and another, th another thing about it is sometimes it's just simply cathartic, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, there's not, like if you think of a child who's having an emotional experience, um, I mean, I guess I'm saying this because I, there's there's a lot of really amazing, wonderful spiritual practices out there, but but for me, like to just say a, do a sitting meditation, and there's a time there's time for all everything, right? But there's moments when just sitting is not my medicine, like because like the energy, you know, the energy of our being, our life force energy, our soul sometimes to try to contain it is um well <clears throat> like that can it needs to flow mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, again this is the part where i feel like words just fail you know because there's um there's something um there's something to be said about just doing it and just having the experience and then you receive like you move through these physical emotional energetic even spiritual states and and those imprints come alive in your body and it just it I mean, it's magic it really is like it's, it's amazing it's reminding me of like you know, some of our retreats together where <laughs> you were, you know, trying to help me like connect more to my body because I was so, you know, in my mind. And um, at first it was like awkward and I'm like, mm, I don't think I can like move or shake or <laughs> dance, but it's like, <laughs> even in that, right. I was like noticing things about myself and then, mm -hmm. um, you know, just looking at we had a session together last week how I was able to get to this place of actually like you know feeling this part of me in my my womb and like actually t like letting that energy start to move through me and be expressed yeah yeah and then that's where I mean I, honestly I, I'm 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 more of an intuitive sort of person, but I, I mean, you know, there's the whole, the right and the left brain hemispheres. They, I hear it said often, like dance can actually balance those. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I, I can't even, I couldn't even count on my hands and feet. How many times I show up at dance, just like, like stupid, mm, just <laughs> like, you know, like in a, uh, just mad or whatever it is. <laughs> Or, 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 or heart with a heartache, like, oh, like, like feeling kind of lonely or whatever. And then, yeah, and then just showing up anyway and letting the movement be as like 
small or kind of locked up as it needs to be, but finding that one little place. Okay, well, I can like, even sometimes I can like, okay, I can take a little bit deeper breath. Okay. Oh, fine. <laughs> I, can, I can, I can rotate my shoulder and then it's just start to move. And then, you know, and that my, so I'm bringing myself to the music and then the music is giving something to me and then, okay, now I'm, I'm dancing. And then, then I, you, you, I, we go through a state change. Um, and I just think, because some of these places where we are shut down are so old mm -hmm. and we just don't even like, we often just don't even realize something else, something else is possible. Um, and that's what gets awakened in the dance. It's like, oh, oh, that's like, you might, like, this is the place where you usually stop yourself. And then all of a sudden you're like beyond that place mm -hmm. and somewhere somewhere new and and then that's you know our creative juices are flowing and that's just like I mean it's way more fun <laughs> totally and what's coming forward too is like empowering like to be able to have this ability to shift our energy ourselves, right I mean always there's definitely you know, sometimes we need other eyes and support, but like there's this magic to being able to um, like be fully in yourself, in your experience and kind of dance with yourself, right? Like dance with your energy to then when you're feeling that, you know, joy and ecstasy or passion after it's like, I did this. Like I stayed with myself to create this feeling within myself mm -hmm. yeah for sure yeah so so good <laughs> yeah so I just want to like some of the tangible pieces so like if someone's feeling the physical pain elements like dance like it can definitely help to bring more awareness help you kind of get under those lockdowns explore deeper yeah listen to the body right um, yeah, and that's, or, sorry, did, can well, I add something to yeah, that? definitely. Okay, just, just, because really, I used to play, do a lot of sports growing up and in college, and then I had a major injury, and it wasn't really until dance that I was like, oh, this, I can actually do this, but one of the, um, one of the ways that dance just helped me so much was it was like, I didn't injury I didn't say oh I have an injury so I can't move it was like wait how does the injury invite me to move or, or or be still so and I often will give a cue like you know notice somewhere in your body that's maybe a little stiff or painful and what if you fully include it in your dance what does it have to teach you and and then that automatically like it just seems to somehow give yeah it gives your intuition permission to tell you what it knows about this place that's so tight mm -hmm. and um it really can shift you know and you have to know yourself i can't i won't i won't say a blanket statement like if you have an injury dance will be your cure like no it's you know you have to know yourself and make your own wise choices um but there is a place with pain in the body where movement really is a, a medicine. And especially when it's not a movement like, well, you have to force yourself to do it this way. No, no, it's a movement that rises from our depths and subtly is like, try this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just there, I was like, cause I had a little stiffness in my shoulder and it's like, oh, okay, you know. Yeah. So there's like the physical aspect and then there's, you know, if we're feeling stressed out in our life, so whether it's like the mental overwhelm and, um, you know, maybe it's even confusion in your business or it's like managing the kids and 
and being a mom and working and all the things it's like we can um dance that right like we can go underneath that and connect more to our maybe hearts our feelings yeah yeah and and even like i just as you were saying that i was say you had an argument with a coworker, or, or, or I mean, maybe you didn't even have an argument, but something happened, you're like, oh, like, there's anger, there's even, um, you know, this is inspiring me, I might even, just as part of the body alchemy, like, put together, like, here's a 15-minute little arc of music that you can go through, specifically to support, like, when something tr triggers you into anger, because there's a place where sometimes we need, you know, the dance can hold these things. Um, yeah, the I, and, and, and it could be grief or, um, or maybe there's a lack of confidence. Yeah. <laughs> or feeling like, oh, like, oh, just wanting to go like, oh, right? So like, uh, like invite it all in and then uh, start moving and then breathe into the spaces and then uh, and then you shake it out of your heart <laughs> maybe and then and then you're in a different again that state change is really the beauty of this practice because all of a sudden you're in um rather than being in those fight or flight that fight or flight chemistry mm -hmm. there's uh just another chemistry that um starts to flow in us that's based more in pleasure and empowerment and um creativity yeah mm -hmm. and so it feels like that's sort of like the next stage right like so then it's like once we move beyond the body and the mind and like we start to dig into the emotions, then we can like open into that really ecstatic state, right? Of like the pleasure mm -hmm. and the being more connected yeah. with our soul. Right. Pleasure or grief. I, I see they're both, there's like two sides of the same coin, but they, yeah, it's like the same place in us though. Yeah, anyway, sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you. No. <laughs> but the ecstasy shows up in, yeah, as joy and excitement, but then sometimes it's just like there's not even, it's just like it's all happening simultaneously too at the same time. And then there's just this expansion. Okay, I can, I, I'm, I, I'm all of it. Mm -hmm. And there's just this peace or sense of okayness um yeah it's life force right like sort of like that kundalini energy of like life flowing and your energy just flowing through you mm -hmm. that's what it comes to me yeah <coughs> mm -hmm. yes so good so mm -hmm. do you want to tell us yeah. a little bit about your your program that you are <laughs> going to <laughs> yeah yeah it's um <sighs> so it's nine for sure it's nine dance sessions and i'll be honest like i'm this is only my second time to offer an online version of dance so i'm very much on a learning curve with everything and um but the so the yeah nine nine dance sessions like probably about an hour long each and um the just oh. <laughs> I, <laughs> um yeah see this is probably like where i need a coach to learn how to talk about this better <laughs> well you're gonna be holding a container right like yeah. <laughs> no matter where and someone I, is on their journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's nine dance sessions. They'll they'll be like held live as this Zoom call, just as Lindsay and I are doing. It'll be through a, a Zoom call. Um, 
and and we'll just you know we'll go through a little warm-up phase i'll say a few things and then mostly the journey will just be between you and the music and <clears throat> excuse me i may i may insert a few cues as we go but but the idea really is um the the main sort of thrust of the experience is just between you and and this container that the music um, creates for for all of us, and <clears throat> and then yeah, we'll have a Facebook group. So I want to know because off defin definitely this can stir the pot. And um, I mean, you might have there might be things you feel like celebrating that you want to share, but there also might be like, oh, I was dancing and you know I just gosh I just like I took a little lid off a real deep heartache or something. Now I'm feeling super vulnerable. <clears throat> so there'll be there'll be a space if you if you choose to to share about um, um, this. And um, yeah, and it's really very simple. It's just come. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you know, whatever part of you is open enough to say yes, um, bring her to the table and then we'll just keep exploring. And the other thing too is in the dance, you can explore your yes, but you're definitely welcome to explore the no as well. Like some, sometimes in these more staccato, like rhythms with the beat, right? There's, um, you know, you flow through the, the induction and then, then there's more fluid type of movement just to loosen things up and then often then the beat will come in at a certain point i mean each set comes together a little differently but but in that like sometimes it's good to practice your like like ah, mm, uh, no <laughs> like it can feel really good <laughs> and um <clears throat> and 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 two there's that we get to feel our clarity with the staccato like beat and and then you know then there's a place to let that even let that clarity go and just like uh, surrender and shake and you're, you're like then it's like the energy inside you animates the movement and sometimes that looks pretty wild <laughs> and um in the five rhythms form they they refer to that as chaos um Got a dog. Did you just mute it because of the dog barking? And well, now I have a dog barking. James just got home, so I didn't know if my dog was going to bark. So <laughs> I muted it. And then you have the dog barking. <laughs> there we go for chaos. <laughs> That's the beauty too, right? Like you can't make energy up. So it's like what I notice is when I let myself be in these practices, like my life will show me right and so it's like you're in the middle of your dance and the phone rings or the kid needs something or the cat does something or whatever the thing is you know and then it shows you um the the places in yourself the places in yourself that you might not have known or um fear you didn't know you had but to feel what the thing there goes my thinky mind going oh totally <laughs> I need to go to the right. It's like, oh, 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 that's okay. Hey, thought. Lasso you. <laughs> I'm going to lasso you and just bring that. Yeah, how can okay, we bring it back? <laughs> okay, and then, then the thing is, it's like as that mental thing comes back, and it might notice, oh, my heart is tight around that. Like, okay, you know, and then you're just back to the body and the energy and the start to flow again you know yes so good <laughs> so um <coughs> do you feel up for giving us a little sample but we were only gonna maybe be on here a half hour but okay i think it's been four three minutes happy to I, you it's up have, to you you have i have time yeah, if you have time <laughs> Okay, I'm going to play just a small portion of a set from, I think this was, maybe it was back in April was when I put this set together. 
So it won't be the complete experience, certainly, but you'll get the idea of kind of, um, you know, the music starting slow and then it's shifting through different, um, different energies and just get, yeah, just see how that feels in your body and notice your mind when it starts to wander. The mind is welcome to this party. It's not about make, again, this is not about make wrong at all, but it's becoming more aware. And um, in a practice of, oh, oh, there's the thought. Okay, let me keep the energy at home in my body. And then, and then keep moving. Um, and also just keeping an awareness of where your feet are. That sense of grounding is also a very valuable tool with this. But okay, I'm going to run across the room and I'm going to push play. I'm going to stand up. Are you going to stand up, Lindsay? Are you going to, are you going to? Or you, you know, and again, like you're welcome to start on the floor too. This isn't a dance about how it looks at all. It's totally like what feels good in your body and bringing more choice. Okay, we are back. Right. With the wisdom of a cycle 
And the mother mother gives me life. We can be making everybody. From the bearing of these bones to the birthing waters. Where I find myself reborn, I honor my lineage. Remembering to breathe. To the birthing waters, where I find myself reborn, I honor my lineage. Lineage, I honor my lineage. Lineage, I honor my lineage. Also, welcome to include voice. You know, as the body wakes up, sometimes a good. Ah, ah. Our good shimmy shake. Still there, Lindsay? <laughs> oh, were you were you, getting, were you dancing on the floor? <laughs> oh, you're muted. Okay. <laughs> Let me change this back. Go on and on, but I yeah. <laughs> no, I want this call to be or to be too long. But that's 
Yeah, I'm just curious, Lindsay. Or sorry, yeah. No, go ahead. I thought you take a big breath, so I want to <laughs> let you. Hmm. 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 <laughs> I, I know sometimes it can be tr trickier, like, I mean, this was, this was short, but say you've just danced through a big hour long arc, you know, and you really got to the point where you're like, you know, really shaking and going for it. And then, then we come, you know, then, then it's, we come down and there are songs to support the integration, right? Because we open up the system. So the new codes or the new, you know, yeah, the new, just the new information can come in. And then, and then it's important to take time to like, okay, now we're, we're now things are kind of closing up again, or just, you know, like expand, contract, but grounding integration. Um, hold on. Mm. <clears throat> I may have lost my train of thought there. <laughs> You're just saying the integration, like, so it's, in, you know, we're expanding and then it's important to take time to integrate back in. Yeah. And that doesn't mean to go back to the way things were, but it is, it's, it's another state change, but now we've integrated some new information as we're like, oh, okay, grounded, here we are. And then you, you know, you go into like driving or something, say after a dance or you're going to work or you're going back home, right? There's just, just, um, yeah, integrating. And so, but I, I wanted to ask if what you notice just in this little short sample. Um, so um, I'm currently in this exploration around the way that my mind like tries to control my feeling. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, I found myself sort of like going into the flow and then noticing my mind and then kind of trying to just Dance with it a little bit. <laughs> yeah. 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 And it's, it's similar, you know, I, since we did that session together, um, working that piece around that anger, you know, in my womb, I'm noticing how much like the mind had such a big part of that, you know, and so I'm seeing this new place of it where now I'm like, Oh, okay, like I can hold you a little bit closer to me and love you and like let you, you know, before it was like so separate where I was like trying to push that, the frustration or the anger, the emotion away. And then I felt like it was doing this thing to me, right? It's causing me this physical pain where actually it's like now it's like I'm able to like actually just bring the energy more in, integrate it, right? Where, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen with the womb, but that's that's where I am. <laughs> it feels more pleasant, right? It feels more inclusive. It feels more compassionate, loving. Yeah, there's less like fighting against totally fighting ourselves for fighting ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Totally. I never. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I love you and I could talk to you all day. Um, so if someone's feeling, you know, lit up about this, they are like feeling curious, they're wanting to know more, possibly go deeper. Um, I can just link your contact information in the video comments. 
and also the yeah. um, information the about your program? Yeah, there's the event link and um, yeah, there's, there's information, more information there. But yeah, my contact info, both of those are great. And if people are in the, you're in Seattle? Portland. Portland. I don't know why I always think that. But if you're in Portland and you need body work or you want some in live, um, in person, you know, dance, definitely contact her for that as well. <laughs> and she does energy sessions as well. So if you're wanting some one-on-one -on -one support of like moving and expressing and getting this energy moving, she's... Like I said, you know, I was very like not expressive yeah. and um, Anna has a way of getting in there gracefully and <laughs> helping you open to, you know, holding the space for you to find your expression and find this way of letting this energy move through you. So, yes, it's just so freeing when what, you know, the, yeah, freeing up the mental and and what can become a loop that stays mostly mental and then the body is frozen. It's just there's so much more grace in our inner world and in our the flow of our lives when we relax that energy to move all the way through us, which is really I feel like kind of the original design, so to speak. Totally. Uh, of totally. Our, you know our energy bodies we're just we're just meant you know life is meant to move through us and and um so when we get a little log jam it's just you know wiggle it out <laughs> <laughs> oh i love you i love you thank you um thank you. <laughs> really fun way to start my start saturday here <laughs> yes. And um, anyone watching, if you have questions for Anna or me, feel free to drop them below and um, we'll meet you there and we'll see how we can answer them. <laughs> All right. Much love. Much love. Me <laughs> Bye.